Hello and welcome to part two of this video series. So what we have here is the circuit that we're going to be using for um, for this video series. Um, first thing I'm going to talk about the screen. So these screens uh, are relatively inexpensive and you can get them from Amazon, eBay, wherever, AliExpress. Um, the only thing to watch out with these screens is some of them will have the ground pin first and then your voltage pin whereas others will have your voltage pin and then your ground pin the one that I'm using here has a voltage pin first and then the ground pin so just make sure you know which type you've got and make sure you connect them up correctly so these are super super duper easy to connect up we're using the I squared C bus so we're connecting the SDA pin or yep the SDA pin to the A4 pin on the Arduino and the SCL the clock pin to the A5 pin on the Arduino. I'm then connecting ground to the Arduino's ground, as you can see here, and the VCC, or VDD in this case, is connected to the V in, to the VIN on the Arduino. So the reason for that is this Arduino that I'm using is an Arduino uh, IoT33, and it's a 3.3 volt Arduino. Um, these screens need five volts to power them, so I'm using the V in, or the VIN, which is your VIN from the USB port, so that'd be five volts. Um, and I'm using that to power the screen, because if I use the 3.3 volt pin on here, the screen would not work. Um, even though this is a 3.3 volt microcontroller interfacing with a five volt uh, screen, we, if you're worried about that, you can put a logic converter in between the two. Um, if, if you're worried about blowing up your microcontroller. If you're using a Arduino version 3, then they're 5 volts anyway. Make sure you use a 5 volt version. Um, you can also do this with a TNC, like a TNC 3.2 or a TNC 4. Um, it'll work in just the same way. Just make sure that you connect it up to your first I squared C bus on those microcontrollers. So let's have a look to see, so if I plug this in, this is the type of thing that we're going to do, so this is the animation that we're going to be running, so it's a little bird running across the screen, we're going to animate that, we're going to create a class to do that, you don't have to use this animation, you can use whatever animation you want to use, so if you've got an animation you want to use instead, you can use that. Um, again, all the resources for these videos can be downloaded from leap.uk forward slash u8g. To. So all the animations, um, all the code and all that good stuff can be downloaded from there. So thank you for watching this quick video. We're going to move into video 3 next and video 3 will be all about creating the animation and putting it into Arduino IDE. Then we'll move on to video 4 where we write some code to actually animate the, the, um, the little bird. So thank you for watching and I hope to see you next time.